Hi, and welcome to another uh, Blender Basics tutorial uh, series for creating a small restroom diorama. Uh, anyway, uh, let's continue. So uh, before we get started on the on the sink, uh, we can see here that the origin is not where it should be or where we want it. Uh, so a quick fix is object up here, set origin to geometry and then it'll put it here uh in the or uh in the geometrical location where you move you move it across it uh where it's like all symmetrical stuff anyway uh but yeah this is good um you can change this to like be in like different locations i not sure how to do that right now or i forgot so i will sh I, but i think i have a video on it so check out my blender how-to videos and I'll, I'll put a link on it uh, but anyway if you ever have uh, the origin or wrong in the place you don't want it and you want it to be uh, in just like ge geometrical one uh, just do that but anyway let's continue so shift a cube let's make this big like this big press one and we are going to move it right about here. And so let's kind of make it evenly here. So that's fine. It's OK if it's not even with the tiles in the back. I know for some people that might irk them. It kind of irks me too. But uh, we're trying to not be OCD. All right. Uh, then tab, edit mode. Um, two things we can do here, actually three things. Uh, we can cut it in half with a loop cut, which is just control R right here like that or with loop cut over here um, or subdivision, but this will split it in four. So we're not doing that. Um, you know, actually, there's two. Yeah. All right. So we're going to do a loop cut because we want to make two doors here. So right escape and then. We're going to switch to face mode, just press 3, press this face, I, like that, and then I, like this. All right, now we have our two doors, um, so we are not going to make them movable, we're not, we're not going to do any animation. So it's fine if we just do something like this. Shift D, G, Y, and move it like right here for now. And then these two, E, backwards, and then select these two. A, P, by loose parts, then go back to object mode. Now we have these two things right here, uh, and then we move them both. All right. Then tab, edit mode, E, like that. I know we could have just like extrude them here, but I want to make things more complicated for you. <laughs> I'm just joking. Okay. Um, let's go back to object mode, tab. Uh, but I'm just showing you like there's different ways to do it um, and like let's see we do not want this uh, so we go to edge mode and we can go to dissolve edges so that'll just make it go away and then we can go back to face mode and then go to I inset uh, that's a good placement for the sink right and let's see then go e down we're gonna make it this blocky so don't worry too much about it um and let's see that's good that's where our sink is gonna be and then let's make the little fountains here so shift a mesh One, all right. Little faucet there. All right. 
S. Shift D, G, C, all right, and then S, then S Y, oh S C, sorry, all right, and then Shift D, R, X, ninety, and then we're gonna move this up, then S, like that. Let's actually make this a little bigger on the y-axis. And I say that because it needs to go in the sink. So let's, I mean, it, even though it's a diorama, it needs to be a little realistic. And then we are going to join all of this. Um, and it's, uh, what do you call it? We'll say it's um, touch sensitive. So it'll detect what we want. Um, yeah, so hotter code. It'll detect what we want and then give us water. <laughs> Uh, then uh, we can just press J and it'll, actually that doesn't work. Okay, I guess we do have to go to uh, Control J. It's Control J to join everything. All right, and there we have it. We have our little cabinet with the sink in here, um, and we're not doing anything like it, we're not going so far as to like do the plumbing in here. But we could also do that. Um, like. Uh, take a look at your own sink in your restroom and make a few sketches and then you could like do the little plumbing here if you wanted to create a scene with that kind of thing but again we're not doing that all right so we're almost done uh, next thing is the uh, the toilet and then we'll start talking about materials uh, how to link materials and then rendering and then render settings all right uh, thanks for listening until next time